Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Harshita from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. In this video, let us discuss about meaning of solid waste management and factors affecting solid waste management. First of all, what is solid waste? Solid waste is the waste generated from the human and animal activities. In this session, we are going to the topic solid waste management. It means systematic handling, disposal and recycling of solid waste materials to ensure environmental sustainability and public health. Through this project, we will get into the factors of solid waste management system. Sources of solid waste management includes the following solid domestic garbage electronic appliances oil and antique grease solid waste from various industries agricultural waste processing and manufacturing medical waste plastic waste construction and demolition municipal waste etc then comes the types of solid waste management it is classified based on the composition nature of waste they are as follows ashes and residues combustible and non combustible waste bulky waste biodegradable and non biodegradable waste dead animals abandoned vehicles construction and demolition waste sewage waste and the next comes functional elements of solid waste management system first one is generation generation of solid waste is a result of natural human and animal activities knowledge of generation of solid waste management is important in the planning designing and operation of solid waste management system generation has two aspects the one is quality of the solid waste which includes the sources types and typical composition of solid waste and the another is the quantity of solid waste which represents the generation rate and total quantities and volumes of to waste generated the next comes waste handling handling refers to the activities associated with the managing solid waste until they are placed in the containers used for their storage before collection or return to the drop off and the recycling centers depending on the type of collection service handling may also be required to move the location containers to the collection point and to return the empty containers to that point and the next comes waste storage the first phase to manage solid waste is at home level it requires temporary storage of refuse on the premises for individual homes industries and other commercial centers proper on site storage of solid waste is the beginning of proper disposal because unkept solid waste or simple dumps or the sources of flies smells and other disorders then comes collection the term collection includes not only the gathering or picking up of solid waste from the various sources but also loading of these waste to the disposal sites or transfer station and unloading there while loading and unloading are similar for most collection system the collections or pick up of the waste varies with the facilities and collection transfer and transport Transfer and transport refers to the means facilities used to affect the transfer of waste from one location to another location usually more distant location and then comes resource recovery and processing resource recovery is a partial solid waste disposal and reclamation process it can be expected to achieve waste reduction in future landfills volume requirements the next comes disposal most of the organic content after segregation may be subjected to bacterial decomposition with an end product called humus and composite here comes the flow charts of the solid waste management system generation on site handling and storage collection and transfer and transport process and recovery and final stage is the disposal factors affecting solid waste management system it includes the following quantities and characteristics of waste the quantities of waste generated generally depends on the income level of the family as income high category tends to generate larger quantities of waste compared to the low level 
category. The quantity ranges from about 0.25 to about 2.3 kg per person per day. One of the measures of waste composition is density which ranges from 150 kg per meter cube to 600 kg per meter cube. And the next is climate and seasonal variation. There are the regions in extreme north and south where the temperature are very low for much of the years. High temperature and humidity can cause the solid waste to decompose more for rapidly than they do in the colder climate. And the next comes physical characteristics of an urban areas. In urban areas such as towns and cities where the collections are more accurate in such areas. The condition is quite different in the inner and older city areas where narrow lines make service by the vehicle difficult and impossible. The problems of solid waste storage and collections are more accurate in such areas. And the next comes cultural constraints. In some regions long lasting traditions preclude the insertion of waste collection on the presence of household and therefore influence the collection system. Waste management should therefore be sensitive to such local patterns of living and consider these factors in design and planning and operation. And the next comes management and technical resources. Solid waste management to be successful requires a wide spectrum of work in keeping with the demands of the system. The best system for a region is one which makes full use of indigenous craft and the professional skills. And the next comes the importance of solid waste management. It improves the human health, preserves the environment, protects animal and marine life, lower production cost can lead to bigger profit for the companies. And the next comes the impact of solid waste management on the environment and the society. Here are the some key impacts of solid waste management. Environmental impact. Inadequate waste management can lead to the pollution of air, water and soil. Improper disposal of waste can release harmful substances and pollutants into the environment. Next is public health impact. Poor waste management practices can create breeding grounds for disease carrying vectors such as mosquitoes, rats and flies. Socioeconomic impact. Proper waste management practices improve the quality of life in the communities. Clean and well maintained surroundings. And the next Finally, I conclude that solid waste management is crucial for protecting the environment, public health and promoting sustainable development. Improper waste management leads to the pollution, land degradation and health risk. However, by implementing effective solid waste management system such as waste reduction, recycling, proper collection and disposal method, we can minimize the pollution, conserve resources and reduce our carbon footprints thank you for watching this video